Hey, uh, this is in case you missed class, all right? So if you weren't able to attend the live session, um, the, the live session is a regular scheduled class time. Check my syllabus um, for, for that time and that aligns to your hour. And uh, if you ever miss class, after the class, I'm going to drop these YouTube videos. And uh, so the YouTube video will go over everything we covered in class and give you what you need to know. So if you missed anything, this, this is the video to click on. Also, if you were there, um, but you missed something or you're not sure about um, what the instructions are uh, or what you need to do for the class, this is a great place to come. All right. This, these videos are, are for you as well. All right. So uh, really quick here. Um, the things you need to see on Schoology for this week. Uh, there's a syllabus, uh, an e-learning syllabus, um, online learning guide, basically, which I'm going to go over with you in a second. And then there is also a blue folder that has the animal farm assignments for this week. Um, so you click on that folder. The assignments are in there. There's a Word document. You click on that Word document. It will tell you about the week's reading assignments, writing assignments, and... Um, viewing assignments, basically a couple, couple short YouTube videos. I'll go over those after the syllabus. Okay, so what you need to know for this class. Uh, first of all, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be meeting uh, with my classes at the regularly scheduled class time. Um, I'll be explaining the daily assignment through these Zoom sessions. The Zoom sessions, live Zoom sessions are great because you are able to ask questions, um, and interact. Uh, the times for those classes, Monday and Wednesday for Monday and Wednesday for blue day classes, Tuesday and Thursday for white day classes. Um, I'll be also posting videos like this one, uh, with instructions for students who can't be in class at the regular time. If you are not able to attend a certain class, it doesn't mean that you're in trouble or it's the end of the world, you simply click on this YouTube video, you're gonna get the same information. I know not everybody's on the same schedule, it's okay, not a problem. Um, and then I'm gonna be posting assignments to Schoology. Those assignments um, I'll always explain during these videos and also during the Twitch live, uh, not the Twitch, the Zoom live stream sessions. Um, We'll be staying, uh, I'll also be available throughout the day, Monday through Friday. Basically, I'll be on my computer roughly 8 o'clock till 3.50. Um, so if you have questions at any point, you can contact me and ask those questions. Um, what you should be doing. Um, you should be meeting with your regular classes Monday through Thursday, if possible, or regularly accessing uh, videos like this. Um, and then completing the assignments on Schoology, which those will always be in the weekly blue folder. Um, and you'll, you'll see a Word document that tells you exactly what you need to do. Um, you can contact uh, teachers with questions on Friday. Friday, there's basically an 8.30 to 11.30 window, where, which are kind of office hours for teachers on that day. And you can um, contact us. Uh, you should be dedicating roughly 45 minutes of distraction-free time, no phone time, uh, to classwork for each class each time we meet. So that's twice a week. That's Monday and Wednesday for Blue Day classes, Tuesday and Thursday for White Day classes. For, so for this class, for English class, that means you're pretty much spending an hour and a half a week. And the assignments I create for this week, I have two chapters um, from Animal Farm and a short writing assignment that goes with it um, and a couple short videos. So that um, plus our, our meeting time or you watching these videos totals up to about a minute, about an hour and um, an hour and a half. Um, so basically two 45 minute sessions. Whether you do it this way or whether you do it um, live, or you do it um, live with the Zoom sessions. 
Uh, homework. The homework, basically, when you finish watching this video, you should go straight to that blue folder, click on the blue folder, do those assignments. Um, the, I post the whole week's assignments on Monday, so if you want to get in there and get the assignments done, um, you can do that. But it's also meant where you could, you could do part on Monday, part on Wednesday. So basically, your Monday assignment is the chapter four and the three quotes and comments from chapter four. Your Wednesday assignment is the three quotes and comments from chapter five. Um, your if you're going through the live sessions, you're gonna have you're gonna notice that there's some downtime between classes. You've got a 45 minute class, and then you have to wait for your next class to start. Make sure you're using that time to stay physically active, um, spend time with your family, do something you enjoy. Uh, by physically active, obviously being confined to your house makes it a little bit challenging. Um, if you have access to a yard, front yard, backyard, or can walk around your block if your parents are okay with that, um, those are good ways you can still have social distancing but still be socially active. That's going to be important to get that kind of break, um, give your mind that kind of break during the day. Uh, and then make sure you're keeping safe and healthy. Um, so I'm not going to verbally say my schedule uh, click on the e-learning syllabus on um, Schoology and you can see exactly what my schedule is. I recommend you go through all your teacher's schedules and figure out exactly what time teachers are meeting. If there's a time where you're not able to see that teacher, I would let them know. I'd say, say hey, I can't be available from 8.30 to 9.15 on Mondays and Wednesdays for a Blue Day class. Uh, let us know the situation and your your go-to is, I imagine every teacher is going to have something like these videos, um, some sort of, uh, some teachers may be posting the um, Zoom sessions uh, for you as well. Okay, this week's assignments for English, uh, click on the blue folder. Um, chapters four and five are the reading for Animal Farm Blue Day classes you've already read. Uh, chapter four, maybe, maybe finished it, maybe not over spring break. It's been a while. Go back to chapter four, refresh your memory about that chapter. As you're reading, you're going to write down three quotes. And underneath each quote, you're going to write a comment explanation. It's essentially a dialectical journal, but you, we don't have to do the paper in half. You can just write the comment, the explanation under the quote, the reaction to the quote. Um, and then there's a place you will submit that on Schoology. You'll submit it once you've done the three quotes from chapter four and the three quotes from chapter five. You're just turning in the one written assignment for the week. Uh, there's also a couple really short videos. Um, Animal Farm is not just about animals. We're going to get into going, diving into the satire and allegory aspects of Animal Farm this week. Um, Animal Farm addresses the events of the Russian Revolution and the communist government that came uh, to the Soviet Union afterwards. So um, something to remember with uh, Animal Farm is it's, it's about this historical event and Jorwell, the author, was concerned about what he saw happening with um, Communism, which equates to the animalism of the book. And then you've got Napoleon, who is a clear stand-in for Joseph Stalin, who became the infamous dictator of the Soviet Union and kind of took the country away from its original um, ideals. Um, and so we're going to see kind of a parallel path um, with the events in Animal Farm. Uh, if you have any questions ever, you can send me messages on Schoology. The school mes Schoology messages get to me. You can also send me an email. That works as well. Um, and if there's something I don't address in the video um, and you're, you're not certain about how to do something, let me know. But basically, for this week, click on that blue folder. Um, the Animal Farm... Text is there if you let if you don't have your physical book with you. A lot of you probably have your physical book, but if you don't have that for whatever reason, there's an online version of the text. You would click on chapter four um, on the Word document. There's an audiobook link, audiobook link for chapter four and for chapter five. 
Um, so you can listen um, and follow along would be an easy way to do that. I think it's about 15 minutes for each chapter. Uh, so that's going to be nice and short and sweet. And then um, you'll write those quotes and comments and turn that in. Uh, there's a place uh, assignment for turning in those quotes and comments. Uh, and you basically have until the following Monday to turn in those assignments. So you get a full week to uh, complete the assignment. So if you can't get it all done in that time, Wednesday and Monday and Wednesday, you can always uh, go to it and um, get get it uh, turned in by the by the following week. So it would be um, the end of I believe it's the end of the day on Monday of the next week for both blue day classes and white day classes are when you need to have that turned in. Okay, hopefully I covered everything. Uh, this is a longer video than they'll usually be uh, because I was going over the uh, online learning guide as well. Um, after this, they should these YouTube videos should be about five minutes basically explaining the assignment. Have a good one. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Keep away from people who are not family members. And uh, I really miss you guys. Looking forward to interacting you, interacting with you in whatever way, um, either through these videos or through the live Zoom sessions on Schoology. Have a good day.